Hey Zach, what are you doing today? Oh, how's it going guys? Uh, so today, we're gonna be upgrading my brakes because we have 700 horsepower. And uh, you need to stop at some point. And these brakes, clapped. Clapped out. So, what I got are some stop tech rotors with some hot street 5.0 pads. That's that's like Mustang 5.0, you know what I'm saying? So, wow. slow. These are gonna slow you down fast. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what else do we got? Oh yeah. And we also got some braided stainless steel lines for the brakes and stuff. And uh, if you guys if you guys want any of this stuff, you know, you can head down in the description and buy it. So we'll have links down there. That was a good time to say that. We're now partnered with ECS Tuning, so whenever we buy parts from there and we put them on, you can always find a link in our description. And if you buy it from that link, anything you buy will support the channel, support us, because, you know, increase that budget a little bit, you know? A little bit. Sick. Yo, Zach, you want a drink? Yeah, give me a Dr. Pepper. The new air set to seven, bro. New air? What's that? It's our new mini fridge, dumbass. Introducing the new air mini fridge. This is perfect for any garage, workspace, office space, literally wherever. You're gonna fit a load of soda in here. Maybe too much? I'm not sure. With a capacity of 126 cans, this thing's gonna hold like 10 and a half, 12 packs. Way more than anybody needs. Live in a shady neighborhood, New Air's lock will keep soda thieves off your beverages. This thing's even got an LED light built in so you can see what you're drinking. And with seven different climate controls, you can choose the temperature of your beverage. Now you can enjoy endless beers with your buddies hanging out on the stoop. Budget, this thing only costs fifty-four dollars a year to run. <laughs> so New Air reached out to us, and uh, they thought we needed a new addition to the garage, and they were absolutely right. Absolutely. So they sent us this uh, mini fridge right here. Costs a little bit of money to uh, fill it up. <laughs> Holds uh, one hundred and twenty-six cans. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. Stocked it up with our favorite drinks, and we're good for when we're working on our cars. Especially in the summertime when it's blistering heat out and you need some nice cold beer. For sure, we're on that garage fridge. So if you want a fridge like this, you can hit the link down in the description and use promo code BIMMERS to get 20% off. 20! 20%. 20 That's, That's like a, a good discount. Yeah. That's, That's legit. Good. That ain't no 15 or yeah. 10. Mm-mm. Just make sure you hit their link, check out what they got. They got a bunch of other stuff too. All Air conditioners, uh, fans, cigar humidors, if you need one of those. Humidor? Humidor. It's what you put the cigars in and keep some. What is a humidor? It's a humidor. Humidor? Cigar humidor. <laughs> air conditioners, uh, evaporative air conditioners for uh, the western states. Everything. They got everything. It's cool. Good prices and uh, 
clearly good products because this thing's legit. Too legit. <laughs> nice. Too legit to quit. Arms are sticky, knees weak, legs, arms are sticky. Wait, I can't run. <laughs> I'm starting by doing these two in their lines because this is going to be the hardest thing ever. My, the nuts on the top are rusted to the tube, so if I try to loosen those, it's going to twist the tube and break them. I know this because it happened when I did the subframe bushings on these lower lines. I had to replace the lines. So, so these are the two lines right here. What I did was, since the bolts are rusted on the top, I bent these little holder clips up so that I can pull these lines down out of this little uh, spline thing right here. So since I did that, I'll be able to pull this down and then twist the line from underneath off. Now that those those top ones are already loose. So I'm going to take these two bottom off, and then the lines will be free. I oh, should be able to twist them out with no issues. Yeah, so I got a little trick for when you're taking off brake lines. Uh, you take something, like a breaker bar, and put it up against the brake pedal. Move your seat into it. Just like that. And what that does is it keeps the brake fluid in the lines somehow through some kind of magic. It leaks a lot less doing that. <laughs> How are they not leaking at all? Because of a fucking brake trip. What the fuck? <laughs> They're not leaking at all. I know. That's ridiculous. So there's one. And the other one. Fucking twist her out. Oh my not God. a big deal. Wow! These are the new brake lines for in there. I'm gonna put some fucking ADCs in these. Not like they're ever coming off again, but. Oh, yeah, dude. You put your hair in the brake fluid and you got it all no. in your hair. No. Oh, gross. Nappy ass weave. Ah, oh, dude, you're just swimming again, in a pool dude, of it. Fuck, oh. Get the shit out of here. Gross. Oh! Ew, dude. You look like a wet dog that ran on the beach. <laughs> just in case you fall. Fucking Spider Man. <laughs> oh. Yeah, these two top ones are tight up here, so I'm just going to connect them to the other parts. Very simple. Finally, getting rid of my AutoZone brake lines, which is exciting. Cool. Now I'm gonna take this one off because I'm replacing this one with the a new line. Right there. Taking this brake line off. Alrighty. That is sexy. Right there. <laughs> okay, so this inner section right here is now done. All good. I don't have the little clippy things for here, so whatever. I don't give a damn. I can move on to up here. I'm gonna take this line off, which is going to be a 14. Wait, which way are you going right now? Well, you gotta be coming to towards the back of the car. You gotta go. Oh, yeah. Shit. There you go. <laughs> Okay. That section is off. 
line into size. Such a funny shot of you right now. Look at the camera like you just did again. You're getting really like zoom in here, like with your eyes looking stupid. Moving on to the brakes. Uh, we're gonna start in the front here. Start by pulling off this anti-rattle clip with a flat head. Be very careful because it will shoot across the roof. Throw it aside. Next, we're gonna take an 18 millimeter socket. I'm gonna take off the two main bolts for the caliper using an 18 millimeter. And they're- Wrong way. Insanely tight. You're Because you were trying to tighten it. Don't tighten it. Oh. Oh. And you just uh, loosen it up just like that. You know what I'm, <laughs> I'm seeing stars from that, dude. Holy shit. Woo! Not bad. Oh. Okay. Bottom one. Oh, that was a little bit bad. <laughs> Cool beans. We did not paint these rotor uh, calipers. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <sighs> okay. And take the set screw out real quick using a six millimeter Allen. Wheel bearings are good. Now we can, uh... <laughs> what the hell is the point? Yeah, dude, look at this, dude. It's big for nothing, dude. It's, it's literally... A... Ah! Regular size pad. What the fuck? Yeah, there's absolutely no reason for this to be that big. Come out. Other oh, brake pad out. Look at that crack. That ain't good. So we can take this right out. We're gonna wanna grease up these before we put them back in. We're gonna take our C clamp right here. Calipers fully compressed now. Remember, if, um, I'm just letting this dangle because I'm replacing this anyway. But if you're not, make sure you be careful with this because you don't want to mess it up. Alright, so we got our new Hawk pads. Feel grippy these are. Wow. It's super grippy. Look. I'm gonna take some uh, grease, grease up the back of these. This is the first time I've ever greased brake pads on a car ever. I don't know why I'm doing it now, but. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Not that. Ah! <laughs> <sighs> Fully seated in there. All good. Oh. Pads installed. So lubing up these shafts right here so it slides nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm 
re in the sim. These boots are such a stupid design, I don't understand it. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is that, dude? Wine voucher? So if you buy Hawk pads, you get a hundred dollar wine voucher, apparently. <laughs> Some new set screws. Rotor on the right side, R stands for Randy. ECS tuning stuff. There's some anti seize on it, so that it anti seizes. So that it can't seize. <laughs> Also gonna throw some ATCs on these bolts. Just a schmear. <clears throat> yeah, you're cashing in that wine voucher already, huh? <laughs> You're whining. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Those Bilstings don't age well. No, dude. They don't at all. Especially in Rhode Island, dude. Look at that shit. Ugh. That's <laughs> disgusting. <clears throat> it's good in Rhode Island. You can't have anything good in this state. All right, so the rotor and the pads are in. Now we have to put this clip on. This clip is a pain in the ass. And it has taken me a while to figure out a good trick for it. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna put the top part on, bottom part on. Like that. So they're both on there decently. Now you wanna hold these down as hard as you fucking can. And pry this out. Well, pressing it in at the same time, and then push the tab in, and that's how you get that out. So we're going to install the stainless steel brake line now. It's going to be an 11 millimeter brake line wrench right here. Crack that open nice. This right here kind of shows you the benefit to going stainless steel. Let's look how fucking rubbery this is. That this will swell when you hit the brakes. Whereas stainless steel lines won't swell, so you have a sturdier pedal feel. Stiffer. Not sturdier. Stiffer. Okay. I think it took a uh, 14, I believe. 14 millimeter for this. Pop out the little rubber bushings as well so we can spin it. What a snake. <laughs> Again with the anti seize. I don't want this to seize, even though they're probably never ever coming out again. But always good to be safe. Right, kids? No. <laughs> I can't find it. <laughs> what the fuck? You <laughs> Guide me. <laughs> you keep yeah. touching it. I am? Yeah, I think it's right there. I think that's it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Back at it again!
And with the And he sees. Incredible. Same thing. Cool. Now, just gonna go ahead and take some. Where the fuck's my silicone spray? Where's my silicone spray? There it is. The trusty silicone. We'll help all your rubber go in. <laughs> Easy. And then just like that, this side is done. Onto the rear. As you might be able to see right here, this is why my brake light is on. Not my e brake. My e brake is not up. This is why. That was absolutely. It sounded like a toilet. <laughs> Run. Don't forget to remove the anti vibration clip. Oh, that fucking hurt. We can take this set screw off. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Bobbin! Hey! Nasty. <laughs> Junk. How many wants? Uh, used pads and rotors. Uh, $250. New rotor. up our uh, head. So we can move on to this brake line. Break that loose. I gotta break the top. Break line. Renewed. Yeah, Got a fucking problem with my fingers. step before you're done you're gonna want to install a stop tech sticker that just helps helps one stopping just a little added protection yeah uh, brake pad sensor cable you have to take one eight millimeter off right here pull this back and then it goes way up there See that white plug that is it Let's swap that out you might have to swap yours if your uh, sensor didn't go off, but mine is obviously broken, so. Okay, cool. Just unplug in that while you can. I managed to make the small cable work by freeing the cable up there from like a clip, which made it come down like to here. And then I just ran this through here, and plugged it in to the brake pad. Yeah, that's good. Oh. What happens when that wheel turns? Will it turn with it? <laughs> we're gonna start the process of bleeding the brakes. Um, we're gonna use INPA, which is a software that communicates with the ECUs in the, in the car. And we're gonna use that to bleed the brakes. Um, you don't have to do this. If you don't have INPA, you can use do the traditional way. Just pump the get brake. Well, cracking the bleed screw and whatnot. But uh, I'm gonna start by topping off this reservoir. So you wanna make sure this is full at all times during this process. So if you get air in there, you're gonna have to start all over again. Uh, 
So I have INPA open. And uh this is this is all in German, so you can't read it, but this is the right rear. We're gonna start at the furthest point away from the master cylinder. Uh this says to open up the bleed screw, which I just did, so press OK. Green means hold the brake pedal for three seconds. Let off. Press. Let off. Press. All the bleed screws loose. It's just that one. It's doing one wheel. <laughs> it like pushes your foot. <laughs> the fuck? I'm sure this, this part of shit come out. Brems pedal. Loosen. Yeah. Brems pedal, loosen! <laughs> yeah. Four brakes are bread. Told you to say it. <laughs> but uh, all four brakes are bled. All good in the hood. I don't see any leaks. Do you see any leaks? <laughs> see any leaks? No leaks at all. Jeez, so uh, yeah, we're pretty much done. Only thing left to do is take it for a test drive, but I'm not doing that right now. <laughs> I'm gonna leave my rims off so I can wash them tomorrow because I want to get the inner barrel nice, nice. You know what I'm saying? Get that mm, clean. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, buy that fridge. It's sick. It's already off the whole beer shelf. <laughs> the whole beer shelf is empty. <laughs> We drank a couple beers. We don't have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Why well, I got hate? <laughs> Why aren't we taking it for a test drive? Uh. Oh. <laughs> and when I die, make sure you spread my blood on a BMW. And when I die, make sure you spread my blood on a BMW. Microphone attached to my hand so I can.